Hey there everyone, Malcolm, and I'm going to uh, be bringing you guys a new video of mine. Yeah, I know, it's been a while, and uh, I only have, what, 40 some subscribers, so thank you guys for subscribing, and uh, hopefully you guys can share this video and get it out to more people. So, this is inspired by a couple things. Let's just get this out the way. So, this is inspired by uh, an old drawing of mine that I did as a kid back in around 2007, well, so I was like 12 years old then. It's inspired by uh, one of my favorite artists, uh, Mark Brunette. It's also inspired by Ross Tran and Dan Luvisi. If you guys have not seen Dan Luvisi's uh, How to Create an IP video, I highly recommend that you guys pick it up. It is free. It's like a 40-minute video of him just talking about how he uh, started his series LMS. And his work is just amazing. I mean, all these artists' works are amazing. And... I know Ross Tran, he's working on a project himself, uh, one with mermaids, and I believe he has a couple other projects. Uh, Mark Brunette, uh, <laughs> I don't believe he is working on a personal project on, you know, that kind of level, like an LMS or anything like that, but uh, he makes amazing art, and it's an inspiration to me all the time. So, that's pretty much where... Uh, the inspiration comes from also another guy brandon lau i hope i said his last name right but yeah from him as well so you know he's also making a a a, a personal um project for himself and i believe it's um if i'm not mistaken i believe the project is something i think it's urban legends uh tale of the cyber king i hope i got that right but his project is really cool and just through seeing all these guys work and I just said to myself, why not? Because this will be really fun. And it'll make doing art really fun because the last thing you want is to be bored while doing something. And I hate being bored because if I'm bored, I spend less time on whatever it is that I'm doing. So I just wanted to clarify that where the inspirations come from for this particular project. So everyone knows in the beginning. So again, this video will be titled Starting an IP, not Creating I, an IP. Well, I guess I am creating it and, <laughs> you know, at the same time. But anyway, let's forget about those details. <clears throat> so basically, uh, a quick rundown of the project and what it's called is, well, we're just going to call it Project FM for short. Uh, it's a work in progress title. So I won't get, you know, too much into the title of this right now. Uh, again, like I said, this is inspired by a 12-year-old version of me. Around that time, a little bit after that time, I kind of quit art and I kind of stepped away from it. Um, so, you know, as a kid. And this was pretty much like the last thing I ended up working on. So when I found this old sketch of mine, I said to myself, you know what, just do this. Because right now I'm in a, a phase and where when I started getting serious in art again, I was like, okay, I want to be a concept artist, and I want to I want to work at Bandai Namco Games. Man, did that short change. I mean, I probably would still like to work there, but I don't do, none of my work resembles any of the work they do right now, so, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just up in the air. Uh, then I was thinking to myself, man, if I'm not working there, where am I working? Because there's no other place I'm really interested in. Uh you know, I play games from other different companies. Right now, I'm currently playing a hell of a lot of Overwatch. But I don't want to, eh, not never, not say never, say never. But I don't think I really see myself working at Blizzard. If I was to work at Blizzard, uh, Overwatch would be the only thing I want to work on. Because it's pretty much the only thing I'm really interested in. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the other Blizzard games. I really don't. I didn't really know about Blizzard until, like... Heroes of the Storm, and I mean, I knew of them when World of Warcraft came out, but eh, I wasn't really interested in that game. The game looked really boring, <laughs> so sorry to all you WoW fans, but that game was just really boring to me, so I was not interested at all. Uh, so anyway, let, let's not get into that. So <clears throat> I was basically in a phase where I was like, okay, I don't know what I want to do, and <laughs> I don't want to waste my time, and it's literally a part of... I think in the last year, last couple months into, uh, into recently that I wasn't really practicing art a whole lot. I mean, I wasn't putting a lot of time into it. I literally probably put maybe 
10 minutes a day or something like that something crazy like 10 10 minutes maybe it it really i really be stretching it if i can get to even longer like maybe 40 minutes in a day of doing art and i wanted to get that out there because a lot of people think i practice for long periods of time i actually don't practice for long periods of time i kind of um you know i kind of go at a study and then i apply it and then it's kind of embedded into my head a bit and then that's just kind of it and i just work with a lot of reference so uh yeah I, I won't go into how i practice i'll do that in another video uh but i i don't spend a lot of time doing art i literally probably spend almost six hours a week <laughs> that sounds so bad six hours a week are you crazy it's like you want to work professionally you need to work more yeah i know but uh <laughs> again like i said i was in a in a phase where i was like i don't really know what i want to do because i was like i want to do 3d i want to do 2d I'm not sure what would be better for me where do i want to spend and allocate my time this and that blah 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 so this is all these things together and a couple other life things maybe go you know what just start your own personal project and have a lot of fun with it so here we go <laughs> and I, I mean here we are actually so really fast frag metals world let's get into that because i did develop it as a kid but i uh, added a few things as well basically i want this world to be open open-ended as in it will be a mix of fantasy and sci-fi so i can have both elements of art that i really like and kind of be able to put it into one. So think of, I guess, One Piece in a way. Or even Fullmetal Alchemist. Because Fullmetal Alchemist is fantasy and sci-fi in a way. It's kind of like a really good balance. And put into like a real world. So I'm kind of thinking of the series in that kind of aspect. So yeah, you could think of it like that. Think of it as like these old animes. Uh, well, an anime like Full Metal. And that's where... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because the, the the name as a kid was Frag Metal. So you can see the inspiration from Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, back then, Full Metal, I mean, Full Metal Alchemist, even to this day, Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is one of my favorite animes of all time. So that's definitely where you know, inspiration is coming from. <clears throat> Another thing, let's talk about inspirations for this project because I feel like it's very important for you guys to know. So when you actually start your own projects for yourselves, uh, you know where you get the inspiration from. So my inspiration, other than the artists I mentioned earlier, they were kind of like the inspiration to kind of just start my own damn project. But the inspiration for story and things like that come from some new animes, but definitely a lot from older animes such as Dragon Ball, uh, Inuyasha, Yu Yu Hakusho, Full Metal Alchemist again. And um, that's where the inspiration of this story and characters kind of come from so uh you know getting into that so a lot of 90s early 2000 animes you know like i'm thinking ghost in the shell you know big o uh i said inuyasha roni kenshin um s cryad if you guys ever seen that yeah there's gonna be some inspirations from there into <laughs> into this uh but um yeah just really fast i'm where I'm getting my inspirations from is my likes as a kid. I'm really thinking about what did I really like as a kid, right? What was really cool to me then? Because that, to me, had the most impact on me. That is what made me want to draw. That's what made me get into art. So those things is where I want to reference and get my inspiration from. So to any of you guys, when you want to start your own project, um, I wouldn't necessarily say kind of, reference uh <laughs> artists you like i i think if you want a true to self kind of project i think you honestly need to reference what you liked as a kid i remember dan lavisi saying something like this in his uh his video on creating ip and uh if you guys haven't seen it uh go get it off his gum road it's free <laughs> so yes free so go check that out and i believe uh then he he would reference he was referencing a lot of things he liked in his childhood like i believe teenage mutant ninja turtles and power rangers it'll kind of be the same for me because i really like power rangers as well yeah i grew up watching mighty Morphin power rangers <laughs> uh the green ranger was my favorite because the green ranger uh rocks my favorite color which is green so uh yeah i'm just taking inspirations from all these different things and um 
you know, these things are very important to help shape what I want to create now that I'm older and I have a lot more experience. I actually was taking, I'm taking art a bit more serious and while learning it, you know, in a different way. Cause when I was a kid, I just copied and I never really paid attention to anatomy and things like that. But right now, uh, I've been practicing that and you know, now I'm a, I'm a way, 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 way better artist. So let's use this skill to create something uh, fun. So another thing with this project is I am thinking of these characters to be animated as well as maybe be in a video game and a type of video game would be action RPG and a type of action RPG I'm thinking about is one of my favorite all time action RPG games ever and I can't wait for the third installment I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts 2 well you know there is Kingdom Hearts 1 as well but anyway Kingdom Hearts 2 so uh, if my character was to be in a video game it'll be the, the gameplay will literally be like Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, so that's why you know towards the end of the video you'll see the back view I mean you're seeing a back view like right now if you're watching uh, the process and I know that might be late for me to say this, but if you don't want to hear my voice <laughs> throughout this video, uh, you can just mute it and play your own favorite music. Uh, probably towards the end of the video, I'll probably play some music because I don't think I'll be talking throughout the whole entire thing. Because um, I am a newer artist. I'm, you know, not in the entertainment field or, yeah, I'm not in the industry. So I'm kind of just like a guy who said, you know what, let's do my own thing because this will be a lot more fun than striving to work at a company right now um and it's actually you know just doing this project is getting me to draw a lot more and actually put more time into my art and what i want to do so it has a lot more benefits than me slaving myself to trying to get into a company right now because there's no company i feel uh will be a perfect fit for me currently if you guys think there is a place for me let me know in the comment section below but right now this is how i i'm thinking right now and uh here's what i'm doing so uh yeah covered a lot so let's go into the character um who is this character and her name is i don't know uh no uh, no seriously i really don't know her name right now so her name is a work in progress as well as well as the title of the project is a work in progress right now and the reason that is, is because I rather have the stories, I mean, the characters kind of create the story itself. And I'm just the artist following their script. So whatever the whatever the character speaks to me, whatever that character kind of says and, and, and speaks out, like, this is my name and this is this and this is the kind of situation I'll be in. This is the kind of character I am. Then that's what I'll go with. So I want the characters to speak to me. And I know that sounds weird, but please bear with me. Uh, so this character right now, again, has no name, but I just really want to design her. I'm thinking of her as a shrine guardian from a past Earth. So like, like she's probably in a year like 100 or something in Japan. She was a shrine guardian and then she gets brought into the future and you'll see that kind of later in the video where I kind of created a uh, a HUD like if she was in a video game or something I kind of created my own little thing so it's pretty cool so I hope you guys like it and that's pretty much what I was thinking for her so she's coming to this new world and she's like oh where am I and uh, you know in the beginning I'm kind of thinking about how Sora <laughs> you know got his his first weapon learning about the keyblade and everything like that how he goes to this world this weird place and then ends up back on the island so it's kind of like for this character she's in her own time goes to this weird place comes out and now she's in the present or maybe a little bit further into the present so this gives me an opportunity to add a lot more sci-fi elements into the world but uh also not only that i can still keep it fantasy with even though this world is in the future, it could be a alternate reality of the world we live in right now. So, kind of like, let's say, uh, what's a good anime that I can kind of reference? Uh, or, matter of fact, let's say Final Fantasy. Let's say Final Fantasy X. 
I don't know if you guys seen the opening cinematic, but it was like a futuristic kind of real world thing. Matter of fact, we can even say Final Fantasy 15, which I will be picking up in September. Uh, let's say that game is kind of like based in the real world a bit. So kind of think of my world like that as well. So it does have these fantasy elements, but it doesn't. I mean, it also has sci-fi elements, so you can kind of put two and two together. It's going to be a really good mix of both. And these are two genres that I like and two genres I like growing up. Again, I loved like, you know, animes like Yu Hakusho and Inuyasha. And then I really love Gundam. So why not have, you know, my own series have both, right? Makes sense. So uh, really fast. <laughs> um, let's go into my process really fast so you guys have an idea of what I just did. I mean, visually, you probably just know what I kind of did. But let's, let me speak on it really fast. I started off doing thumbnails in color. And then from there... I, you notice I drew a uh, static straight front pose that got boring and I didn't like the thumbnail. Well, I thought the thumbnail was cool, but I feel like I could do better. So <clears throat> I went in and right, what you see right now, I'm just doing a bunch of flowy lines and kind of letting the design design itself. I know this sounds weird, but I'm kind of letting it design itself. So I should be thinking about the 70 30 rule. But I don't think about it, and the only reason I don't think about it is because I feel like if I do that, it's going to stiffen up the design. So if I feel there are places where that you know that need fixing, I will fix that. But I'll do that <clears throat> once I have something I think is really cool. So right now, I think it works just fine. Um, and then at the end, you'll see the design. Uh, I'm not going to add too much to it. I think it's good as it is, and um, it's just really rendering at this point and making it look cool and good but uh yeah that's that's my basic process so i don't think i did a full-on line art i think i just kept it really sketchy and then moved into the rendering part of things uh because i want to be fast i want to make my process a lot faster so uh that's that's that so yeah you see me doing values but i don't sit there for too long i kind of add colors quickly uh in hindsight when i look back at this i feel that I should have did the full values of the character because uh, then I can easily add gradient maps and make it a lot better. I mean, well, I shouldn't say the finished 100% version of my values. I should say uh, push it halfway because I feel like once I do add my gradients, um, <clears throat> I'm kind of stuck. I feel I'm not extremely good at adding gradient maps yet. Um, I think I still need to review by watching uh, Mark Brunette's videos or a Q or Q brush, whatever you know <laughs> by. Uh, so I feel like I just need to check those videos out again <laughs> and refresh my memory on uh, using gradient maps uh, and using them well. So yeah, I'll have to do that myself later. Uh, well, do that stuff later and practice. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, other than that, that's pretty much my process. So from I literally go thumbnail, sketch, values, color, and uh, that's really it. So again, back to the project uh, because I am uh, man. I've been talking for about 18 minutes now, just rambling about my project. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you guys know where I'm getting my inspiration from. The people that kind of inspired me and said just do this project. Uh, myself and some of my favorite artists right now uh, some of the artists that really got me back into doing art uh, uh, inspirations from you know as a kid and uh, why I'm doing this so doing this project will really get me motivated to do 3d um, and at the time I'm making this video Mark Brunette has not dropped his latest tutorial on PBR rendering but he did this cool ass character who's really badass. And that was like Malcolm. I was saying to myself, Malcolm, why the hell are you not doing 3D, man? Get, like, start practicing. Just do the dip. Just do it. Right? Because I don't know if you guys, uh, rest in peace um, to Monty Ohm. I don't know if you guys seen Dead Fantasy, but that's a huge inspiration to me as well. I thought that was so badass. And that's something I would want to do. I would totally love to create my own, you know, my own characters because Monty Ohm created, you know, um, Ruby, I would totally love to create my own series. Create, you know, and well, I don't think he created the characters. I think there was he got. A, I think he probably came up with the ideas of the characters, but I know he did have a concept artist. But anyway, 
I want to be able to do all that. So, <laughs> so basically, that's my motivation for being an artist. Yeah, I may be a jack of all trades, and I'm kind of fine with that right now. I feel like I want to be able to do these different things, and I'm just going to do it, right? And yeah, you could say, well, why don't you allocate all your time to one thing? I don't think I'm really good for that. I don't think that would work out for me. Um, I feel like I want to be able to do multiple different things, and I kind of want to do these multiple different things. So throughout my day, this gives me uh, different things to do um, with my time. So I could go, okay, let's work on 3D, then let's do some 2D, and then we'll go back and forth. And then uh, once I get good at 3D, and once I, I'm still learning 2D and still trying to get better, but once I feel comfortable in 3D, then I can move to rigging and then animating. And then I can create my own animation. And um, hopefully that, you know, comes out within the next two years or so. So, or maybe even shorter, depending on uh, how motivated I am to do this project. So with that, I have talked way too much. And um, I'm probably going to play some music for the rest of the video. But uh, you'll see it at the end. I say thank you guys for watching. But um, spo spoiler alert. But uh, again... Uh, I really want to say thank you guys for watching, for listening to me for about 20 minutes, 20 plus minutes. Uh, really fast before I go, here's what I was talking about, an in-game scene. I did not record the process for when I did create this thing, but um, I definitely took inspiration off of uh, Kingdom Hearts. Again, it's one of my favorite action RPG games of all time. But again, uh, I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you guys in the future if I make more videos. So, uh Please share this around. I hope you enjoyed the process and uh, peace.